hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to implement our last session concept means we know how we can use yolo v head for object detection then we know how we can uh, track the object with the help of yolo v head so we are going to use all our previous session concept and then we are going to simply add a new concept which is cropping the object and saving the object with uh, current date and time so this is what we are going to learn in this session so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i mentioned in this session we are going to use here yolo v8 for object detection then we are going to track object then we are going to crop the object image and then we are going to save crop image with current date and time in folder okay so as i mentioned i have already explained all these things in previous videos means i have already explained how you can use yolo v8 with opencv and python then how you can uh, draw the polylines for particular area and then you are going to detect the object in that particular area then how you can track the object okay so i will mention uh, all these videos links watch video and then you will get the basic idea so we are going to use all these previous videos concept and then we are going to crop object and then we are going to assign the uh, name and the date time current date and time okay so for that i have created here a repository yolo v8 detect count crop and save so this is the repository name i will mention the link you need to simply copy and paste link inside the browser then go to the code then we are going to simply download a zip format repository so we have now our repository ready go here show in folder right click winrar and then extract to folder okay so this is what our extractor folder same folder again just click and inside that i have mentioned the download.txt file and this file is basically our video link so just open it copy the link and we are going to open our uh, google chrome and just press ctrl plus v it will paste the link and just hit enter now we are going to download our video so it will download our video file in zip format so friends done as you can see we have our video file ready in zip format so just click here again show in folder and then this is what our zip format file so just move this file inside our main folder which is yolo v8 detect count crop save main okay so we move it again here same uh, people count this is the this is basically video file name so we need to simply move this file inside again same folder so just to move like this way drag and drop now we have our file in main um, inside the folder basically okay so right click the people count and we are going to extract our video file so let's just click on extract here and as you can see this is what our mp4 video file so as i mentioned I have already clear, clear all this concept how we can track then how we can draw the polylines then how we can detect the objects okay so for that I have create already the script okay the script which basically uh, detect the object then uh, uh, it's basically track the object so let's just open our test.py so just open the test.py so I have opened the test.py and as you can see I have import all modules so this is the new module from date time import date time because we are going to assign the uh, the image name is basically date and current date and time so for that we need to import from date time import date time then import os for basically saving the images inside the folder okay then now is equal to date time dot now this is how we are going to call our date time function then all the things are basics we are going to use pre-trained model yolo v 8 s dot pt then this is what our mouse function for drawing the uh, polylines in particular area with the help of this mouse function we will get the coordinates of our mouse cursor and with the help of this cursor x y points we are going to simply draw the polylines the area uh, the area where we want to uh, detect our object where we want to track our object so in this case our, our object is basically peoples okay i will show you uh, when we start our video file 
okay then uh, then we have here our video file people count mp4 this is what our video file name and this is what our coco.txt uh, we are going to read our coco.txt means we are going to read the class names from coco.txt files so this is the function then uh, tracker is equal to tracker this is how we are going to call our tracker file inside our repository inside our repository uh, i have mentioned tracker file tracker.py and with the help of this tracker.py we are going to track our object means we are going to assign the id for each person okay so i have already explained all these things then here it is as you can see i have mentioned the area this is the area where we want to uh, detect our person or where we want to detect our object and then inside that area if there is a object we are going to track and we are going to assign the id okay so as you can see this is the function img right inside that uh, we need to mention our object so object is basically our img so now is equal to date time dot now here we are going to call our date time function then current time is equal to now dot strf time and this is how we are going to mention our uh, date time format okay this is the format and then file name is basically a uh, percentage s dot png this is how we are going to mention the file name and then we are going to mention our current time variable okay then cv2 dot imwrite method and this is the path os dot path join uh, for that i have called here import os function as you can see import os function so we are going to use here os dot path join and then inside that we need to mention the path where we want to save our images so we are going to create a folder so let's just open our repository this is what our repository we are now inside our repository yellow v8 detect count crop save main so here we are going to create a new folder so let's just say folder and mention the name img you can mention any name simple then right click to the folder copy as a path okay right click folder and copy as a path and we are going to uh, save the path for our cv2.imwrite method here so from img we are going to remove all these things because this is the old path so just remove all these things and just press ctrl plus v it will paste our new path of folder just remove this double quote because this is a, a double okay so we want only single way so like this way simple as you can see now it's green so we have successfully mentioned our path where we want to save our image file and after that we need to mention the file name so file name is basically our file name is basically our image with current time means image with their name the current time is a name okay then all the things are same as you can see i have mentioned the while loop then cv2 dot resize method then model dot predict we are going to mention our frame and model dot predict is basically call our yellow v 8 s dot pt model then uh, result uh, is basically boxes dot boxes this is how we will uh, get the boxes okay then for index raw uh, this is this is the function uh, from uh, pandas okay it rows function and then we will get the x1 y1 x2 y2 then we will get the d is equal to uh, each object id then uh, we are going to call our uh, uh, class from our coco.txt file then of course if there is a person because we are going to detect here a person so if there is a person then only we are going to create a list okay here it is as you can see the list and inside that list we are going to append the x1 y1 x2 and y2 why because we are going to track our object so for that we need a object rectangle coordinate so for that list dot append it will create a list and inside that we are going to pass x1 y1 x2 y2 okay so now we have our list ready so simply we are going to call our tracker as i mentioned i have already explained all these things deep in previous video so i will mention video link watch video then you will get the idea okay so then uh, of course we are going to update our tracker with the list okay then we will get the uh, b box so x3 y3 x4 y4 id is equal to b box then we are going to draw a rectangle then we are going to uh, we, we are going to put the circle then we are going to put the text then uh, of course with the help of point polygon test we will get uh, the we will get basically if our object inside our area 
then only we are going to we are going to detect the object or we can say we are going to assign the id okay simple so let's just first let's just first uh, start our video frame then you will get the idea okay so if i save the code if i run the code let's just first say i'm going to mention here zero okay then you will get idea okay so let's just save the code if i start the code so first it will download our uh, by default pre-trained model yolo v8 s dot pt as you can see is now downloading so friends as you can see our model is downloaded and now i am going to simply open our frame so this is what our video frame as you can see right now this is our area okay as i mentioned with the help of mouse uh, function you will get the coordinates and then you will of course uh, it is really easy to draw a polyline for a particular area so i have a uh, draw here a polyline so this is what our area where we want to detect our person so right now there is no person the uh, it's counted a zero okay so let's just keep a frame one by one so here it is as you can see we have here we have here basically person and their id so our tracker is also perfectly work okay so we detect the object we track our we are right now tracking the object okay so let's just skip frames i'm continuously skipping frames and here it is as you can see this is what our rectangle object rectangle and this is the point okay this point we are going to mention as a point polygon test okay so if i open the code here it is as you can see i have mentioned x4 and y4 okay x4 and y4 so when our rectangle when our rectangle x4 and y4 point if it is inside our selected area then we are going to count our object so that's why here it is as you can see you can see here there is a pink color circle so this is basically our condition if our rectangle this point x4 and y4 if it is inside our area then only we are going to count so let's just watch now here it is as you can see this circle this rectangle circle it's inside our area and we count the person one with id here it is as you can see the id and the person one is counted okay so we count our person and of course the crop image is saved inside our folder with current date and time because we mention our function okay so let's just stop our code so if i open our repository where is our folder here it is and this is what our folder img and inside that as you can see we detect one person with their id and it save the person uh, person current date and current time okay so right now here it is as you can see 1151 with current date so if i open the image as you can see this is what our first person which we detect this is what our first person which we detect okay so this is how the code will work it will first detect the object then we have our area then if the rectangle if the detected object rectangle uh, x4 and y4 point okay this point just let me show you here as you can see x4 and y4 if it is inside our selected area then only it will count the object and then only it will crop the object here it is as you can see i have mentioned the condition if the result is greater than is equal to zero means if the rectangle x4 and y4 point the sun circle point if it is inside our area then only it will crop our frame so how we can crop crop is equal to our main frame and then we are going to use y3 y3 colon y4 and x3 colon x4 x3 colon x4 then we will get the image the crop image okay if you want to see the crop image you can simply uncomment this function here as you can see you need to simply uncomment this line okay then you will see the crop images one by one so then we are going to simply call our img write uh, function which which is our crop function which we uh, write here over here 
as you can see the img write function and inside that simply we want to pass our object so our object is what our object is our crop images simple so again what we are going to do we are going to simply open our folder and let's just delete this image delete okay so it will save one by one okay so if i save the code if i run the code so right now there is no person detected person is detected basically but it, it will not count because the person is not in our selected area okay so now it's in our area as you can see this is what our first crop image okay then we have a second person it's coming it's detected we have our second crop image here it is as you can see the second person then we have next person is coming inside our area next person detected crop image we have then next person again coming inside our area the image crop here it is as you can see and that's it done okay our video is completed so this is how friends you can simply crop images uh, you can basically detect image first then you can track the object then you can crop and then you can save image with current date and time now if i open the folder our img folder inside that as you can see we have all the images with current date and current time so let's just start with uh, from here this is what our first person then second person third again second person because if it is in area it will crop the image one by one okay so again next person next person next person next person that's it done okay so this is our friends you can use yolo v8 for object detection then for tracking for counting and for saving the crop images with date time I have mentioned full code okay I have explained all the code if you don't know all these basic things how to track I will mention all the videos link watch video then you will get idea so this is for today's session we will meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye